What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about France versus Wales that is taking place on Friday which is going to be an absolutely awesome kickoff to the Six Nations of 2019. Both teams are going to be wanting to prove a point to show their, their strength um, to show what they're made of, to show improvement, to show continual improvement if we're talking about Wales. Um, and both teams really have it all to play for. We've got the World Cup just at the end of the year. And um, Wales and France are going to be wanting to put their hands up, putting their names down um, to show the world what they are made of. Now the French rugby team haven't had the hottest of um, years in 2018, having lost to their series obviously to New Zealand, which was a hard one for them, um, and then obviously playing South Africa, picking up a, a, a loss there in the last minute last year in November, which was hard for them. It lost in the last minute, it was the 85th minute, if I'm not mistaken. So, those were tough, tough losses for um, the French, but you know, they showed heart, they showed determination, they showed passion. Um, and they really are a team that we can't write off. You know, they have tough times. They did um, beat Argentina 28-13. However, then they lost to um, Fiji 14-21, which was a big upset um, in, in from a rugby term. Uh, and they're going to want to forget about that. And I think that's an important thing for the French to look forward to look towards is forgetting about the shitty results of last year and focus on what's important a new start a new term a new season to go out there and to prove a point to the nation to their players to their management staff and to show what they're made of front the, the french rugby team we always saw a threat they were you could never write them off i mean it's a south african watching springboks versus france it's always nerve-wracking especially if you're playing at their home turf they're another team they're they, they, they really are brilliant at what they do when on form. And I think that's going to be the important aspect of the game as they move forward to the Six Nations. They're going to have to be cool and collected and play with skill set and confidence and defend like champions. Going back to 2016, sorry, 2018 Six Nations, they nearly beat Ireland. One drop goal changed that game. Um, and I think if France had beaten them, they would have gone on and really probably been more competitive they beat England if I'm not mistaken and um, they had some sparks there and there about but there's a lot of improvement needed they went on to play New Zealand in that three test series there were positives in the first half of the games where they showed determination passion they were scoring points and capitalizing but they just seemed to tire out at the end and you cannot tire out against the All Blacks no sorry You've got to be full on fit. And this contest this weekend on Friday night is going to be so important for them because Wales, like mentioned in yesterday's video, if you haven't seen it, click on the i card so you can check it out. Wales are on a great run at the moment. They have won nine games coming into the Six Nations tournament. They are going to be wanting to win it. They're going to be wanting to prove a point and put their stamp down on the map, showing what they are made of and what they are capable of doing. Warren Gatlin's final term as Wales coach. So he's going to be wanting to show why he is going to leave Wales with the respect that they deserve and also with hopefully a cup. That's going to be his goal. Now, there was a few mixed responses in yesterday's video. So, people saying no chance in hell and some people saying, yes, Wales can do it. Anything is possible. We need to respect the result of nine victories. It's impressive stuff from the Welsh team. And um, they need to really keep that comp that that mode that they're in and, and, and keep that system in place because it's a winning tactic. And if they can go that next level and continue to play but just that much better they can really show the French a, a, a tough time um, and a lot of people are saying if they can beat the French then that's the next step to winning the final game the big game they're all talking about is France uh, sorry Wales and Ireland at the end could it be the decider it very well could be but it all depends on who shows up shows up at the game. This is in fr the French territory, which is going to be tough because they're going to have their crowd at the back of them. They're going to 
be pumped it's the first game of the season so they're going to want to really prove a point and show what they are made of and why they are there to play the sport that they love so it's going to be an absolutely epic contest and i can't wait to see what actually comes about in this game and i really think it's going to be a hectic contest and and the welsh have got injuries that are on their to, um, minds at the moment whereas the French don't have many injuries going into this they got a, a good strong lineup going towards this game so this 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 some strengths and weaknesses here that we often tend to forget the French are going in strong the Welsh are going in confident but with some injuries so ah, there's so much to look at, at this game to see what's talking. I mean, we're all talking about Ireland versus England, but this game is also important. It could be a decider to see where this tournament's going to end up. Will the Welsh be a threat or will France bounce back and surprise us all? Anything is possible. If we look at some of the results of their last games together, Wales played France last year in 2018. Wales only won by one point. This was, by the way, in Wales. We go to France um, in 2017, um, the French beat Wales 20 to 18 points. Then Wales won in 2016, 19 to 10, and then uh, Wales again in 2015, um, 13 to 20, and then Wales big victory 27 to 6 in 2014. So stats pretty even, pretty oddly matched, showing what they are made of. But it all comes down to who's going to show up on the main game. Who's going to show up on the field this weekend. And who's going to prove the point of who could win and show the world what they are made of. It's going to be an epic encounter between these two teams. And I, I think they're going to give it the absolute all on the field to show the world what they are made of. For me, it's a prediction. This is an extremely tough one. If I look back at the history of what we've seen, if I look back at the current form of what we've seen, and that tends to throw in a curveball. Like I said, Wales are nine games winning streak since the, the Six Nations is starting this weekend. That is the second highest behind England, which is 14. That is pretty impressive stuff. And 14 was only two years ago, 2017. So Wales are in for a chance to really surprise us. They've got a great team that are formulating well within one another. Um, and I really think the bookies are right. They're going in, in as favourites. Um, but ugh, you can never count out the French. They just showed something against the All Blacks that was quite amazing for me, which was the strength they showed in every game in the first half. One of those games, there was a card that could have affected it. Some say yes, some say no. But if there was a game. There was competitiveness. Now, if the French have worked on their fitness levels up till now, grown in fitness, then they're going to give the Welsh a little bit of a run. If the Welsh have continued to stay with the same game plan, work on a few things here and there, and grow and, and um, capitalize on things that they've found that were weaknesses of last year then for me they are definitely going to be favorites to win this game as for predictions i'm expecting a really really close game uh the from a points perspective i'm seeing a five four five pointer in it um it could be a last minute decider it could be continuing points um a tries here yeah, then uh, penalties and all that stuff but for me personally, I, I think Wales just have it. Uh, they're just a, a little bit ahead of the French at this point in time. In fact, not a little bit, quite a bit ahead. Just from the current form that they're in. Um, again, it's 2019. It's a new year. It's a new season. Anything can happen. We could see a total shock, which we've seen before. If we remember 2017, the English were on form. Then came 2018. They were nowhere in the Six Nations. Could this be the same instance for Wales? We never know. Could the French really shock us? We never know. But for me personally, I'm going to go for Wales to win this game by, I'm going to say, 
four five points it's going to be a tight count it's going to be strong all ends up first half is going to be close i think it's going to be a point or two in it uh, and it, i don't think quite so high scoring but then come second half one of the teams are going to fade away and i think it just could be the french but i'm open to be some be proven wrong um, it's happened before as you know if you've been here for a while so I'm excited to see what the final result's going to be it's going to be an epic game and I cannot wait to see what happens so that's going to do it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can keep up to date with all future uploads it's going to be an amazing weekend of rugby make sure you all subscribe recaps will be coming over the weekend and on monday so don't miss out on that and then i've still got the prediction for ireland versus england as well as another video coming out on friday so make sure you're subscribed you don't want to miss out thanks so much for watching stay safe and never give up cheers